Greetings, true believers. It's Joel Powell, Spider Man. Good morning, Cadre, and everybody out there. It's KJ. Um, I'm gonna do a shave for you today. Obviously, um, I'm wearing one of my new shirts. Um, it says, "My friends are freaks from the Freaks Fair Haunted Attraction." This is a haunted house that is in Warrensburg, uh, which is where I live. Um, been going on for the last couple years. Unfortunately, I was not able to make it uh, there last year when I wanted to, but just never had a free weekend to get there. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this year and getting out there and seeing what they have to offer. Um, going to do a, uh, a vector shave. Uh, I know Dave uh, just bought one of or bought one for himself and really, really enjoyed it. Uh, watched his videos this morning. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do another shave with the vector. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done a video. I think maybe the last time I um, used the vector. Actually, the last one might have been my sun shave. Um, and actually, my face was pretty beat up and raw. I had some weepers um, after that stunt shave. And so really just want to take some time off and um, do some easy shaves. So I ended up using my, uh, my Rockwell uh, 6C uh, just to get some real easy shaves in there uh, and, uh, you know, kind of stay away from some of those um, cuts so that they could heal up and stuff. Uh, so I got some new soap from CBL. I got the Fresh Vetiver and the Cherry Blossom and Bamboo. I used the Cherry Blossom and Bamboo yesterday uh, off camera. Um, very nice scent. I love this. Um, really hard to describe. Like it's definitely floral, but it, it kind of goes in and out of smelling florally. It's not overly floral. It's a very subdued floral. It's got a little bit of woodiness in there, a little bit of cherry in there. I don't know, when when I smell it off the puck and when I smell it lathered, it's completely different. And even while I was lathering, like I was getting different notes at different times. So that was pretty interesting. Uh, but this was a very, very good uh, soap. I think this is gonna be a, uh, a new favorite uh, if he keeps making this. Um, and the, uh, the Fresh Vetiver, so when I got this one, uh, the Fresh Vetiver appears to be pretty uh, soft. And when I got it, uh, actually, it must have been traveled upside down because half of it was in my uh, lid and I had to scoop it all off the lid and put it back down in there. So um, I just use one of these little, uh, it's a spoon that you get from like one of those frozen yogurt places. Um, and this is what I use to like scoop out samples and do any kind of uh, moving around. So like CBL soaps are pretty soft. So uh, generally I'll just kind of come in and push down the sides if I want to make it a more even puck or something like that. Um, so this is what I use. Um, so I still have a lot of soap left over on the tub or on the top of the tub. So this is all I'm going to use to lather today. I'm going to get, get the rest off of the spoon and clean this up. And that's what I'll be using today. And then I'm going to actually keep the lid off of this for a day or two and kind of let that harden up a little bit. So we're going to get to that. Of course, of course, of course, of course, I'm using my TSC anniversary brush. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to call this. Um, I love this little, uh, this little knot, this little eye right there. So I'm thinking since it's got a little, uh, it's kind of reddish, kind of a little bit of a reddish color there, just calling this the uh, old evil eye brush. Uh, but undecided on that. So right now I'm just taking my brush and uh, loading the last little bit of soap off of that spoon. And now I'm going to go in and load off of this and kind of clean this up. A little bit of water in there. There wasn't much left. I scooped off as much as I could. Um, but there's definitely plenty for a shave. It's a really good, it's just, uh, it's called fresh vetiver, so I don't know what the difference is between fresh vetiver and regular vetiver, but uh, it pretty much just smells to me like a straight up vetiver. Um, I dig it. See if I can rinse this off of here without 
getting a lot of water wrapping around to the label. Okay, still got a little bit of soap in there, but that's probably just gonna have to stay. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, spring just started. We're finally getting some warm weather and I'm just looking forward to October. Haunted houses and pumpkins and Halloween parties, love it. But definitely one of the things I'm looking forward to in the interim, cause you gotta fill that time with something, is Game of Thrones. I know we've been talking a lot about it on the forum. The new season starts tomorrow. And um, we still have, I think, four episodes left to get through. We are re-watching the uh, last season. So we can just pick up right where we left off. So we're probably going to watch... An episode or two today, and then the rest tomorrow before the big night. So we've got uh, some snack trays planned, and it's just going to be a uh, lazy day of sitting around watching Game of Thrones and getting all hyped up and ready for the uh, new season to start, which very, very much looking forward to that. So this uh, has a Feather Pro in it. I have no idea how many shaves, probably at least a week's worth. I don't usually keep track. Still feeling pretty smooth. Razors are just so easy to use. Like you don't even have to think about it. You don't really gotta think about angle or pressure. It's just so, it just does everything for you. So as you can see, I had a full shave worth of lather on my razor. Lather was a little bit on the drier side. You can see it was just uh, clinging on there, not dripping. So I do want to add some more water back into this. It's just a really good vetiver. Um, I, I guess. I mean, I like stronger scents, so I guess I would like it if it was a little bit stronger. But strength is pretty good on this one. I know some of the scents, to me, from CBL are hit or miss on the strength department. And I know Chris admits that sometimes he would want them to be a little bit stronger. Because Chris likes strong scents like I do. Uh, now, some people don't want to be overpowered by scents also. realize I'm not very consistent 
with my uh, passes. Like, I mean, my first pass is usually the same. Just straight with the grain pass. But my next two passes are usually both across the grain. But as far as do I start at the nose, do I start at the ear? Do I do both sides the same or do I both do both sides the opposite? Like I go back and forth and sometimes I'll finish my second pass and I'll forget how I actually did it. And so sometimes doing the third pass is almost a duplication. Wouldn't have that problem if I was consistent. This one is definitely nose to ear, both sides, so. Next pass will be ear to nose, both sides. And Dave of the Nurse Variety, if you're watching, don't worry about the comments about this being light. It's not like super ultra light. Um, I, I think you're, you're gonna be surprised uh, when, you, when you pick it up. I, I think we've got you in this mindset that it's going to be this like super ultra light razor, and it's not. Um, so you're gonna be surprised by that. I think it's gonna be more in line with what you're looking for. The reason that I initially commented about it being so light was just because from pictures and not actually having it in front of me, um, it appeared to have a um, bigger, fatter handle. And so when I actually saw it, and I just got soap in my mouth. And so when I actually saw it for the first time in person, uh, the handle is actually skinnier just because the pictures, I thought the handle was going to be longer. And so in my mind, when I saw that, when I was thinking that it was going to be longer, um, I automatically bumped up the diameter and thought that it was going to be wider also. And so the handle is actually smaller than I was anticipating. And therefore, when I picked it up, it was lighter than I expected. Um, but it's still got enough weight to do the job. Um, but the lightness that it does have makes it nimble and uh, easy to move around your face. So uh, I'm pretty sure you're part of the pass. And so you're going to see that when you get it in your hands. And I think you're going to like it. Um, Dave... Uh, Barbara Dave commented uh, about this and I totally agree and I don't know if I said this before but um, this is like my new favorite razor um, and I would totally recommend this to anybody who is looking for a feather style S uh, single edge razor. Um, I've tried a bunch, the Cobra, the Mongoose, uh, I tried the General. I really did like the General. I tried the Brass General in the past. Um, and I think when I was comparing that against my Mongoose, I think I liked the General better. And I did just buy stainless steel general from the yard sale from David Kentucky so I should be getting that here in a day or two I don't remember exactly when he said it was coming if it was this weekend or if it was Monday um, but I really think that I'm gonna have to compare it again obviously I already sold my Cobra, and 
So I'm down to the mongoose and the vector as my only single edge feather uh, style razors. I got lots of other single edge razors, but as far as the ones that take the feathers, I think those are the only two I have. Um, I'll have to look and compare and see which one I like better between the general and the mongoose. And I think the edge is gonna go to the general just from uh, past experience. Um, and if so, I might get rid of my mongoose and just go down to these two. But this one is by far my favorite. And I, I know the general's not gonna surpass this because I've already used the brass general. I already know what I'm kind of getting into with that one. And uh, just kind of doing some uh, little bit of touch up here. This razor just makes it so easy. I don't even have to think about it. But easily in the top five of all razors and it might be number one um, as far as enjoyment goes. And that makes me actually want to consider getting the uh, polished version of it just because I like it so much. But if I do, that's going to be way down the road. Maybe Christmas present or something. All right. So really, really, really good shave. Finish it up with some good old witch hazel. And then we're going to finish up with some Guerlain Vetiver. Uh, this is aftershave, even though it's got a uh, atomizer on top. Sometimes it's a little sticky and I don't get too much, but actually I had a few good sprays there, so pretty much just what I needed. And that is that. So I'm just brush or clean off my brush real quick. And that was a good use for uh, Old Evil Eye here. And uh, just dig this brush so much. I've, uh, in the last week or so since I got it, I've only used one other brush one time. I've used this for every other uh, shave. And that's just because I wanted to use uh, one of my uh, badgers for a specific soap. Um, but I just love this knot. Uh, it's perfect, uh, nice, floppy, good face feel. Just love it. Uh, so thanks, Eric, again, and all the cadre for putting this together. Love that brush. Um, like I said, I think I think Old Evil Eye is what I'm going to call that thing, but uh, let me know what you guys think about that name for it. And uh, we'll see you guys on the forums. I'm Spider, and uh, take it easy. Enjoy your shaves. Later, guys. Bye.